Good morning. <laughs> This is the hardest part, getting up. I never want to do that. <laughs> oh my God. This cat is so messy. For peeling the banana like this, if you do it from the bottom, it helps prevent all the little strings that you get when you peel it from the top. Play pack. It's eight in the morning. Kinda don't feel good. About to go exercise. Mm-hmm. I feel I'll feel better after I eat. I'm gonna go change. Into my outfit. For my workout class. Oh, I didn't even introduce the video. So today I just wanted to bring you along with my day. It's gonna be a pretty typical day, but I wanted some company. So it's a Thursday, it's February 2nd. I am about to get ready to go to my workout class. So I'm gonna change, show you my outfit, and then I need to pack a bag, eat my banana, do everything else in my morning routine. Let's just, let's just do it. I tried to do my hair all cute the other day for my class and then I realized that ponytails don't work in this environment for me because I'm sweating so bad that like all it's doing is sticking in my bag, which is just back to the buns. Here's my outfit. I have been wearing just a sports bra the last few times. Like I, it just depends on how I feel. So sometimes I'll just wear the sports bra because I mean, it's a full shirt anyway, so. But I really like this little top. This is from Aloe, but I got it from Thread Up. The sports bra underneath is from Lulu. I like it because it's high neckline and it's really supportive, which is important. Aloe leggings, just wearing these socks to go over there and then I wear grippy socks to do the workout. I go to SolidCore, I've been going for um, a month now. Feeling good, I'm feeling stronger, I'm really excited. Today is my, what day? Today will be 22. That's my outfit, I'll get back later when I'm packing my bag. Not even later, cause I don't have that much time. So I need to like get a move on it. Wow, this light works. Ignore everything back there, it's very messy. This is awesome. live this long without this light. This is insane. It just goes on the camera. Okay. Okay, lost the toothpaste, lost the toothpaste, lost it. Okay. How does this happen so often? I just like... Towel, socks, laptop first, headphones, hair tie, Bag of random shit, sunglasses, water. Water and protein shake for after. Jacket. Okay, let's go to solid core. Thing. I don't know, it's very loud for obvious reasons, but I just got done at Solid Core and I'm walking to a coffee shop. But that's what's up. Just want to update you. I really hope you can hear me in this headphone right now. I have no idea. <laughs>
just got done at the coffee shop. I was editing my podcast for a while, so I feel good about that. I need to shower quick and then I have a meeting at 12.30. But I'm glad I went to the coffee shop because it actually motivated me to like do stuff. <laughs> so, all right, I'll see you at home. Hello, I just got out of the shower. My call is in like two minutes. My radiator is whistling like crazy. I'm literally doing my skincare. I took my contacts out to give my eyes a break. My ovaries are hurting. I took more medicine. Probably should pull up my call. Oh, my notebook. I need my notebook. Oh, yay. It finally stopped. Thank God. Just in time. I am so lucky. Everything works out for me. And that's why the whistling stopped right now. Notebook, pen to take notes during my meeting because I like to take notes. I look foul, but it's fine. This is really hectic. I didn't mean for it to be this hectic. Hello. I should say good morning because I did fall asleep. I am going to dinner. I'm about to just sit down and put some really quick, why is my face all dry? Makeup on. And I'm going to film a little TikTok, get ready with me, like telling facts about myself for Seat Geek. So I'm about to sit down and do this, try and do my makeup as fast as possible. I love this light that I bought. This light slays. I'm gonna put this in the link in the description because it's really good. I also bought a new light. Yes. Oh my god, my friend just texted me. <laughs> Can we push dinner 30 minutes? Yes, thank god. My ass was not ready. That's hilarious. Oh my god, thank god. Okay, now I can sit and do my TikTok in peace. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm gonna just record you watching me while I also record this on my phone. So hopefully that's not like really uncomfortable. I literally was about to start filming and do you hear this? There's every time that I need to do something that it f starts doing this. This is a really interesting setup we have going on here. Get ready with me while I tell you some facts about myself. I've always seen other people do this and I've really enjoyed watching theirs. I don't know how I haven't done one yet, but here we are. So, my full name is Hannah Elise Maudie. I'm 23, I'm gonna be 24 this year. This year is actually my golden birthday. I have a real pep in my step now that my friend just pushed dinner back 30 minutes because I feel so much better. See you, Another fact I guess should be that I live in New York City. Oh, but I'm not from New York City originally. I was born and raised in Pennsylvania. this off like I've just been filming for 10 minutes of me doing this this is embarrassing okay we'll talk to you guys later hi my apartment's a mess so ignore that but this is my outfit I just threw it on sweater thrifted this turtleneck under is from mock neck is from garage Abercrombie jeans converse and then my little bag that's from thread up it's Burberry like matches the inside of the collar anyway okay that's what I'm wearing. I'm excited because I love this place. I need to go like right now. Unready. This is gonna be fun. I usually just listen to a podcast when I'm getting unready and taking my makeup off, but I wanted to talk to you guys today. I'm not really sure what we're gonna talk about, but we're gonna talk. I'm back from dinner, obviously. It was very good. I love that place so much. The friend that I went with has gone to Lava Core before, but didn't get the rigatoni. And when I first broached the subject 
of well, Corey he was like didn't like it because the dish that he got was too salty and I'm like well, did you get the rigatoni he's like no and I'm like that's your problem I have not seen him in so long like he's literally my brother from another mother if you will I've known him since I was born so we got to catch up for a few hours so it was really nice the food was fantastic as usual and now I'm home I got home at like 10 it's a little after that. I usually race into the bathroom to take my makeup off. I use micellar water to get off my eye makeup because I haven't worn, first of all, I haven't worn mascara in months. I got a lash lift and tint before Christmas and that has been the ultimate game changer. But one thing that they said about taking care of a lash lift and tint is that you don't want to use like an oil-based cleanser or makeup remover or whatever on your lashes because it can cause the lash lift and tint to wear off faster and i don't want that so i just use a micellar water on my eyes and i also get any makeup off my neck with that and then i go in with like a balm cleanser so yeah i'm really taking you through my nighttime skincare right now i don't know the last time i've like actually talked about this in depth i'm sure that i have but i made a tiktok about it but i didn't talk through the tiktok i just kind of Meat clips. Anyway, so dinner was really good. I love that place so much. It makes me so happy. Now I'm using the oil-based cleanser. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm or whatever. It's really good. I'm gonna link all of the skincare products that I can in the, oh my God, I forgot to put my headband on. I thought something fell off. I'll link all of the products that I have links for in the description for what I'm using. A couple of them are from my dermatologist, so I cannot link those i've been on acne treatments since right before i moved here so like a year and a half that really took me a second so that is part of my routine and i also need to take my meds now that i am reminded of that because i take spironolactone every day for my acne as well i don't care if i come back home on a weekend piss drunk i am not skipping my skincare i'm going to do my skincare last weekend i went out i got home at like two something am which is late for me. I'm like a grandma. I like to be home by midnight, but I wanted to just hang out with my friends. We went out, we did something fun. So I just went with it and I got home at 2 a.m. Did I still do this entire skincare routine with all of the steps and my lip mask? Yes, I did. I'm washing off the bomb. BRB. Oh my God, I need to wash my hair so freaking bad. Tomorrow it's like insane. I keep the water on my face and I go with my next cleanser, which is the CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser. Put that on now. This is a very messy process also. Ew, bro, it's going down my shirt. Help. Oh, okay. Today was definitely not nearly as productive as I was anticipating. I hit a major wall in the middle of the day, but I still did get things done that I needed to get done. So I'm happy. What, Charlie, where are you? Tomorrow's gonna be a really big editing day for me. I'm gonna finish up the podcast episode that I started editing today. I made good progress on that, so I'm happy. I'm gonna finish it up tomorrow. The reason it's taking so long is because I recorded two hours worth of, I literally just talked for two hours. And I always just run through it and make sure, I'm not like repeating myself 100,000 times. Like I try not to edit it much at all, but there are times if I'm just literally saying the same thing in a different font, like back to back to back, I get really annoyed and I'm like, no one wants to hear that. So I cut those out and I just keep one of the ways that I said it, you know? So I basically just like listen to the whole thing through and while I'm listening to it, I make some edits. And obviously it takes longer than the duration of the recording. Like it was a two hour recording, it's gonna take me more than two hours to listen to it. Cause not only am I listening to it, I'm making edits and then going back, listening to it again, like five more times to make sure the edit Close. I also dry my face with paper towels because I saw someone on TikTok say that they do this and it like makes sense because if I'm drying my face with a towel that I've like touched any other time really, then it's not like completely clean, I guess, if that makes sense. So tomorrow's gonna be a big editing day. I'm gonna finish up the pod, I'm gonna post it, and then I have my Instagram post to go with it for the podcast Instagram already made and it's in the drafts. I have a workout class tomorrow that I booked. I don't book them 
the same days every week i just kind of book them whenever i have the opportunity to go or like whatever makes the most sense based on my schedule i'm going tomorrow as well so that means that i need to pick finally my headband goes on like halfway through this i need to pick out my outfit for that tonight because i like to make sure i have everything set out for myself in the morning because when I'm waking up in the morning, I don't really feel like thinking. It's just a little way that I like to show up for myself. So I pick up my outfit and stuff the night before. I set out everything else that I need. So then in the morning, I can easily just like throw my outfit on, put my stuff in my bag, and I don't have to do too much, like exert too much effort before going to my class. Right now, my next step in my routine is Tretinoin. This is a dermatologist product really slapping it in. Now, I don't know if there's like a specific order that I'm supposed to do this shit in because I know that I've seen people say, oh, you gotta do this first and then this and then this and this. I don't know if mine's the correct order and if it's not, then that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm just doing my best over here. Oh, sorry, God, I suck at this. Okay, next I'm using the Clarins Double Serum Eye Stuff. I'm running out of this one, but Clarins is amazing and they literally already sent me my next bottle. Like they keep me stocked because they know that I love this stuff. I really feel like they have me on like an auto ship like schedule because it's like right when I'm about to run out, a new one shows up. It's great. It's great. So this is clindamycin. This is my second acne cream. Finally, I'm putting on the Aquaphor Healing Ointment Advanced Therapy Skin Protective. This shit is the real deal, okay? This is what has saved my skin this winter. I started off by just putting it underneath my eyes and like over on top of my eyes because that's where my skin tends to get the driest and like literally flake off. I will go to bed and I'll wake up and my skin is flaking off around my eyes. So I started putting this stuff just around my eyes and then I was like, mm, why don't I just put it around my entire face? It's almost like a mask. It's like an overnight mask and it just hydrates the f out of my skin. This is the final step. I'm going to brush my teeth first but then i also put on the little lip mask which is essentially it's almost like the laneige thing but it's not laneige i like to do it because it feels nice let's take my meds together i have them already in my little pill box but i just am leaning on to search land again i still have a bottle because i just weaned off of it like last month and now i'm going back on because the medicine that i was trying for the last month backfired so horribly if you want to hear more about that that is what i talked about in this podcast episode that i'm editing right now so it's going up tomorrow's friday it's called i'm not okay if you're wondering that'll explain everything but yeah it was really bad it's also why this vlog is being filmed a little bit late like it's thursday and i'm posting this on sunday this also wasn't the video i was planning on putting out this week but then um, so I'm just doing my best. I've got my zinc, vernalactone, birth control, but it's the sugar pill week because of my period, and half of a sertraline tablet. This is fun. Am I having fun? I already took my multivitamin gummies this morning. They're my favorite part of the morning lately because they're good and it's like a reward. I look like a f***ing Texas Roadhouse roll in a good way. Let's floss our teeth, brush our teeth, and do mouthwash now. Why don't we? These are the Oral-B floss picks. I love the picks, those are my favorite ones because I just struggle with the regular floss. These also are like mint flavored, so that's nice. Well, that thing is so satisfying actually. Mm. Okay, now we brush. We're using Sensodyne. Everyone who says my content's boring since I graduated, you call this boring? Last step is mouthwash. For this one, I use the nastiest mouthwash on the planet. That took me what t-shirt conscious news is not good. This is the nastiest mouthwash on the planet, but I use it for a reason. It's the Listerine original. If you've ever tried it, you know it's terrible. <laughs> but I tend to get like stress ulcers in my mouth. My dentist recommended a million years ago that I use this to help with those. And this truly helps to get rid of my stress ulcers faster than anything I've ever tried. So I just literally use this every night now because I'm like, might as well, if I have any, it'll help get rid of them. And if I don't, hopefully it prevents them from starting. Swish with this for 30 seconds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Oh, painful now, but it'll be beneficial in the long run, so it's okay. Take care of yourselves. Well, I guess now I can do my lip mask. Here be. God, this light is so good. It's the Babe Glow Lip Mask by Babe Original, the same brand that makes the lash serum that I use. That is the reason my lashes grew long enough that I got a lift and tint, and they look phenomenal. How do you use these on myself? Okay, we're done. Skincare and dental routine. Done. I decided I'm gonna put on a podcast and just try to put away as much of this stuff on my couch as I can just so that I can wake up and feel better. And then I have some things on the floor in my bedroom that I wanna put away and then I can finally get it back. I'm so excited. I got some new stuff. I just unboxed things. I got myself a new SSD, solid state drive, basically an external hard drive. That's what I edit my videos on. All my Final Cut libraries are on it. So I got myself a new one. This is her. I have one that I have used and loved for a while. I've had this one for over two years and I think she's giving out on me. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this one and see if I have the same problem that I've been having with this one because if I don't, then I'll know that this one was just giving out on me. But I'm not gonna get rid of it because I have so many videos on this thing and I just wanna like keep them. So excited, that one was one terabyte. This is two terabytes, double the space. And then, and then people, I got some new AirPods for myself. I got the AirPods Pro second generation. I have the AirPods Pro first generation. They have not worked properly in months. They literally randomly connect to my devices at random times. When they're in their case, like shut. Something's just been up with the sensors for so long. I clean them, I I don't know. I've troubleshooted, troubleshot. I've reset them, like I've done everything that they've said to and I've had them for a while, since they first came out, so I decided to get the new ones for myself, the second generation, and I'm excited about them. I'm, I really hope that they are an improvement. I'm literally listening to music and podcasts so much of the time, so just having good little earbuds I feel like is really important for me and music is like my favorite thing probably in the entire world and it is my safe space and my happy space. So. I deserve that. So yeah, that's my update. I also put away my clothes, put away my shoes on the floor, and I feel good. I'm all ready for bed. Bedtime fit, check. Sweatshirt that I wear every day. Not every day, I swear I wash it. I have my t-shirt on underneath. I just change into some biker shorts. I'll take these off. I do not sleep with socks, I'm not crazy. That's it. That's gonna be it for me for today's vlog. I'm going to bed, it's midnight. Gotta wake up, go to my workout class tomorrow. I'm gonna have a productive day. I'm putting it into a, the universe. Speaking it into the universe, I'm gonna have a really productive day tomorrow. And it's gonna be great. Tomorrow's Friday. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you had fun spending the day with me. Thanks for sticking around to this point. If you're still watching, comment below. I'm a real one because you are a real one. 
I love you so much and I appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe also if you want to. I post new videos every Sunday and if you forget that I post a new video every Sunday or you just want to get notified right when I post, make sure to turn on my post notifications for my channel with the little bell icon so you never miss an upload and you get notified right when I post a new video. So yeah, I think that's it. Hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,